Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about data classification within uh, Business Central. So this is around some of the um, GDPR functionality that we have uh, within the Business Central environment and it's basically a tool that you can use to classify the data that you have within your Business Central environment. Um, just so that it's uh, it's nice and neat and organized, um, you know, for example, in the event that um, somebody requests um, the data that you have uh, for them on your business central environment, um, you can easily uh, export that data. So before we get into this, I just want to show you my role center, uh, which I'm logged into right now. So um, I've picked this one specifically for this video. Um, and it's the role center or the profile um, for IT manager. Okay, so the reason why I've selected this one is because we have a, a data privacy section down here. So it just tells us um, the fields which are missing the data sensitivity. Um, and also up at the top here, we've got a few different menus. Uh, so we've got data classifications, data subjects, and some unclassified and field, uh, unclassified and classified fields shortcuts just so um, we can easily access all the data that we need to for this okay um, so what I'm going to do to begin with is under data privacy I'm going to go into data classifications here okay so this um, is basically showing us how all of the fields um, in Business Central have been classified um, at the current point in time okay so I've got my um, table number so what table does my field come from I've got the field number then I've got table caption field caption and then it's telling me what is the current data sensitivity setting on this um, on this field on this table um, and then there's a, a data classification here as well um, and then I've got the last modified by uh, and last modified just so we know um, when the classification or if the classification on um, this, uh, this field has changed. Um, and we do have some other options here which we can use um, to change the classifications on those fields. Um, so if we want to, we can go ahead and use these set as fields. Um, and they can be used to change the data sensitivity on here. Okay, so what I'll do, for example, is if I highlight my uh, payment terms field, um, the code field, sorry, on the payment terms table, you see the data sensitivity on that is uh, currently set to normal. Uh, if I come into here and say set as sensitive, what that does is it changes the data sensitivity to sensitive, as I told it to, right? Um, and it also updates the last modified by and the last modified date and time. So I can change this as I see fit. I can change it back to normal. Um, I can use any of the set as options here to change that as I want to. Okay, so um, a few of the things that might be of interest here, we do have the show field content, which um, is basically gonna show me the content for this particular field on this particular table. So just if I wanted to review that data, I can go show field content. And what that does is it shows me the code field on the payment terms table, okay? And I guess that's not always sort of um, relevant. You know, you might not always have um, a, a particular value in, uh, in that field. So depending on which field you highlight, look, I've got discount percentage here. Um, show field content is now grayed out so I can't click that okay so just a heads up there it's not always going to be available depends on the field that you're looking at okay um, and the other thing um, that might be of interest here is the find new fields um, so this is basically going to go away and sync um, new fields that we may have for data classification right so I guess these fields could come in as part of an update um, to Business Central or if you're doing uh, a modification if you're building an extension which is going to sit on your Business Central environment that could also introduce new fields that might need to be classified okay um, and 
I think guys, I, maybe I should have said at the top of the video here as well, look, we've got this little notification here that tells us Microsoft is providing this data classification feature as a matter of convenience only. And we basically say that it's, it's our responsibility to ensure that data is classified properly and it complies with laws and regulations which are applicable to us, okay? Um, so just bear in mind that disclaimer. Um, and of course, I guess it is entirely optional as well, this, uh, this functionality, right? Um, but okay, so that's how we can classify some of the data guys on our um, business central environment. If we want to do it manually like this, we can. I should also say that you can select multiple records here as well, and you can set the classification level on those. Um, easily using these options. So earlier I said set as sensitive and we changed the field sensitivity here. So if I say set as sensitive, it changes all of those fields that I have highlighted at that point in time. Okay, so you don't have to go through one by one. Now, one of the other things that you can use is the setup data classifications wizard, which is basically just uh, a wizard which is going to run through um, sort of what um, you can use, uh, what you can classify these fields as. Okay, so I'm not going to read through this, guys. Have a play with it yourself in a in a sandbox environment, but it's basically telling us what it's going to do, some of the different classifications, and then again we've got the little disclaimer from Microsoft that we just read through. But if I press next here, um, what we can do is we can, if we want to, export the classification data to Excel, and that will give us an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and if we want to, we can get a partner or, or an external person to, to classify the data for us, or we can import them from another company where we may have set these up before, right? So just bear in mind, this configuration is company specific in Business Central, okay? Um, so I won't go through sort of exporting it to Excel, updating and then importing it back like this, guys. I mean, it, it sort of speaks for itself. Have a play and see what you think on that one, guys. It's just as if you're doing a configuration package for, for those of you that have used those before. Uh, it basically works in, in the same way. Um, OK, so what I'm going to do here is we are going to go ahead and say classify data manually and what this will do is it will continue to take us through the wizard here and basically it's going to classify the data based on um, data from posting, data on templates and data on setup tables, right? So what we can do in each of these fields is we can define the level of uh, classification which we want to assign to data which is coming from posting, data on templates, and data on setup tables, okay? So it's made suggestions here for us. So you can see data from postings is company confidential, data on templates is normal, but I can change this to what I want it to be, and data on setup tables is also normal. And if I want to, I can go ahead and view the fields that are being classified here. So it opens the data classification worksheet with a company and table number filter here, right? So it's basically giving me all of um, the tables which are included in the setup tables. Um, and then we can continue to go through the wizard here, guys, and it's also asking me um, which tables do you want to classify? Um, and it's saying here that we've got a list of tables, salesperson, customer, vendor, resource, etc. And I can go ahead again and choose the data sensitivity that I want to put in. And BC has made a suggestion here that that's for personal data, which makes sense to me. Just bear in mind, if you have any bespoke tables, you know, that might hold personal data, um, you probably want to, to ensure that that's included in this as well. And there's a, there's a toggle that you need to set, I believe, in, uh, in, in VS Code when you're doing the extension to, to, to allow it to be included in here. So just to bear that in mind if you do have any other data that you might need to classify. Um, so let's press next here. And what it's saying here is I can um, basically review the data here and I can do that by just coming into each one of these tables and I can just ensure that I'm happy with the data sensitivity that's been set here, okay? So maybe I don't need a data sensitivity of personal against all of these. 
um, fields, I can change that as I see fit. Uh, again, I can change that individually field by field, or I can highlight multiple, and I can use the set as, as I did earlier in the video. But just to save a bit of time, I'm gonna just come in and come out of each of these just to mark them as reviewed. Obviously take a bit more care when doing this than I am. Um, and let's press next and it's gonna ask me to do the same for similar fields. Again, I'm just gonna skip through this by quickly reviewing. And I should say that this is just a one-time thing. Obviously, you can review them afterwards, but the wizard, uh, the assisted setup guide, is here to help us do it once. Um, and then it's done. Okay, so here we've got uh, the final steps. So it says that's it. We've applied the classifications to your data. If you want, you can review and update them in the data classification worksheet. And then it's got a tick box here to open the data classification worksheet. I'm going to unmark that and say finish. I mean, we're, we're sort of on the data classifications page anyway, okay? Um, so that's how we would go ahead and classify the data within our Business Central environment, okay, guys? Um, and you can review them based on the data classifications that we have here. And the page that the wizard mentioned that we should open there is the data classification worksheet, which is basically the same thing, just a bit of a different view here. OK, so you can see I'm now on the data classification worksheet and I've got the options here to change the classifications against my fields. And I can come in and I can change the view to say I want to view personal fields, normal fields, company confidential, and it changes. The, the view underneath it as a filter to the page C, or I can say view all. Okay, so that is how we classify um, data within our Business Central system. And there's one other thing that I wanna go ahead and show you, which is basically a data subject request, okay? So um, if somebody comes in and says um, they want to uh, request um, data from us um, and uh, we, we need to send that out to them, uh, what I can do is come into my data privacy menu I go into data subjects here and here I see all of our data subjects as per what we set up on the um, the wizard earlier um, and if I come into customer here I can go into my data privacy utility uh, and again this is sort of like a, a wizard which is basically going to allow me here as it says to export data for a person to excel uh, or a rapid start configuration package. And then there's a bit more information on the link here. Um, but let me go in and say next. And it's just giving me an option here saying I want to export a, a data subjects data or I want to create a data privacy config package. OK, so let me go. I want to export a data subjects data. Let me say next. Um, and then it tells me to choose a data subject, which is one of the tables that we have here in the background. Um, it tells me who is the identifier, who is my data subject, and I'm going to go down and select test customer one. And I've just got a message because I've done this before this video saying the data subject is already marked as blocked due to privacy. You can export the related data. So I'm going to say OK. Um, and then I can choose my data sensitivity. OK, so what sensitivity do I want to export um, the, the data for this particular customer? Um, and I do have a generate and preview data option here, which I can go in. I can see the data which is going to be exported um, just in case, you know, I might want to change that. So see, I've got my table name, my field name and my field value, and I can scroll up and down on this and uh, review all of that data. Um, so if I want to, I can go ahead and say next to export the data. And what it tells me now is the data is being exported. The Excel workbook will show up in the report inbox on your home page. Um, and then they basically ask us to verify the data. OK, so I'll just hit finish on this. And if I go back to my home screen, 
the report inboxes where the report will show up after that has been generated. Um, and in the background, just as an FYI, um, if I go to configuration packages, what we've got here is a configuration package which has been created by that routine that we just run um, for customer C0010. Okay, and see it's added in all of the tables here by default with the fields as per the classifications that we've made. And you can see here, we've got a filter on that configuration package as well, right? As you'd expect, it's filtered to where the number is our customer number because that's the, the data subject that we were dealing with, okay? Um, and you can, of course, export this from here as well. So um, it's just created this in the background for us, okay? Um, okay, so that is everything that I wanted to run through, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, I will see you on the next video.